Volodymyr Zelensky on Sunday likened the destruction of Hiroshima during World War II to the devastation seen in Ukraine's Bakhmut. On Saturday, Russia claimed to have captured the eastern city, which has been the focus of the longest and bloodiest battle of the conflict. Zelensky, in Japan for the G7 summit, denied this. They are in Bakhmut today. Where exactly, I'm not going to tell you. But this means that Bakhmut has not been conquered by the Russian Federation today. There can be no other interpretation. In Hiroshima, the Ukrainian president laid flowers at the cenotaph to victims of the world's first atomic bombing of a city. Photographs of the aftermath reminded him of Bakhmut and other destroyed Ukrainian cities, Zelensky said. He had earlier, alongside US President Joe Biden, lamented the tragedy that had unfolded. For today, Bakhmut is only in our hearts. There is nothing on this place. So, just ground and, and a lot of dead Russians. During that meeting, Biden announced a $375 million package of military aid, including artillery and armored vehicles for Ukraine. He told Zelensky the United States was doing all it could to strengthen Ukraine's defense against Russia. Together with the entire G7, uh, we have Ukraine's back and I promise we're not going anywhere. Russian President Vladimir Putin has hailed what he says was a victory for his forces in Bakhmut, describing it as a liberation in a statement on the Kremlin's website. At the G7, leaders of the world's richest democracies, however, said they would not back down in their support for Ukraine. During the summit, Biden told G7 leaders that Washington supports Joint Allies training programs for Ukrainian pilots on F-16s. Kiev has not yet won specific public commitments for delivery of the fighter jets, but Zelensky said he was confident they would.